can actually get a kind of a bit of an advantage of starting off, off in this matchup for the side of Perception. They haven't actually won a game yet this season. It has not came from forfeit wins. They're one and two, one forfeit win. It's looking like Perception is going to go for a bit of a B stack here now, and only one player playing defense. That's Kino. He's calling out to his teammates. He's like, hey guys, I'm flashing. I'm throwing utility. I'm doing what I can. Just come over here as soon as you can. I need the rotate. Chaos now starting to get that information. They will start to send some players over, and this is going to be a full five stack retake. Jaden, he's going to take some damage from Amali, but they have to know a player is nearby after that utility did come through. Zygo is going to spot a few players in the back line. Takes down Wildflower. It's now putting it to five on four in favor of Perception. One comes through from Kylie as well. Kylie looking for more. Some shots are going through. Purple looking for his first kill for the CT side. Finds two with a nasty headshot. Going to make it a 3v3. The retake still looking to come on through. Lucan is going to find one in the back line. Kino picks up a kill. It's all up to Jaden. Jaden finds one before Lucan gets the trade and that is going to be Lucan for the defuse with the defuse kit. And this is now, or actually Kino just going to be sticking it with no defuse kit. But that is going to be Chaos winning the round. I mean, it looked a little bit scary for a moment, but Purple really opened things up with that double headshot on the B side of the map. That is going to be Bajorns as well as Kino to hold things down. The first two kills going to go in favor of Kino now. Five on two. Prism and Zygo left to try to find whatever they can, but Bajorns is here. He's going to find one close range with the MP9. Make it two. That's a flawless round. Reception looking like they're focusing the A side of the map for now, but they finally be sending a player up towards A. Wildflower might have an engagement here soon, and he will. Picks off the kill into Orange Back Moose. Over to A. However, let the games begin. We're starting to see a bit more of an execution come through. Purple wrapping around in a great position here, making sure they don't go through the CT side. But he has a great angled through library, dropping one down. Purple might find a player here soon. Purple from behind finds one. Going to be traded from Prism, but Lucan's there to trade out Prism as he turns around. And Wildflower will clean up the last player with the op. Two for one. Utility being sent through. That's going to be a lot of damage under Perception on their pistol round. Two kills, three kills, four kills, five kills. That's going to be Bajorns with an ace. Holy Bajorns getting those eco. Wildflower picks off a kill. Prism goes down. Five on four. A lot of these members from Perception now are tagged down to lower HPs. Orange Moose going to be mollied off. Cannot be playing this apartment's angle for the time being. Now down to just 30 seconds. The bomb is going to get acquired. Perception really taking their time in this round. Purple looking for Orange Moose. No, he's been coming from top halls. And that is going to be down to 3 HP. Purple cleans up the kill. It's going to be a B-side push now from Perception in this 3 on 4. 3 on 5, rather. Kino just going to play it slow. Bajorans finds the first kill. Kino finds the second. Zygo finds one back. But Kino is there for two kills of his own. Chaos will win the round, regaining the... Four players on B for Perception. Chaos has definitely got to be wary of this. Lucan's going to take some damage. That's going to be Purple and Bajorans finding their first kills. Kino going to find one as well. Jaden will take down Lucan, but it's now a two versus four. Jaden going to find one more. Jaden finds two more. Jaden saving the day for Perception. Going to make it a two versus two. Prism located on the B site, just hiding as well. And it looks like we're actually going to be seeing an A rotation. Perception, they don't immediately send a player over. And it's actually like they're going to be chasing them down banana. But look at this. Chaos, they're already going to be having a free plant towards the A bomb site and getting ready to play their post plants. A slight health advantage as well. Jaden being down to 68 HP. Wildflower planting the bomb deep into the A site. Perception, they're already very, very close. Ready to play this retake. Jaden and Prism now creeping up onto the site. Bajorns and Wildflower playing their positionaries as best they can. That's Bajorns for the first kill. Bajorns looking for the second kill as well. Get some damage on Prism. Wildflower will clean it up. Inside of Chaos, a little bit of utility coming down. Purple swings, trying to find this player in the smoke. Will find Zygote. Makes it a four on three now for Chaos. Prism finds one, but the flank might find the value they were looking for. Bajorns finds the first. And now Bajorans goes back towards Church to hunt for more. The site has been cleared. They are ready to put the bomb plant down. Wildflower will be initiating this one. Kylie, Dan, and Jaden here on the retake. Down a player. Bajoran's in a great position. Finds the first. Looking for Kylie, Dan. Kylie, Dan shot down from Bajoran's, and the kill is there with the help of already down towards bottom side mid. I don't think anybody from Chaos is really going to be expecting this. Oh, Orange Moose hasn't been spotted quite yet, but Wildflower goes down. Now the tension focuses to Orange Moose down towards bottom side mid, causing a thorn in their back as he finds a second kill as well. Perception. Really starting to do their due diligence. Purple finally going to trade that player out. Makes it a four versus three. But Kino has to find some value and will. Prism goes down. 
three versus three. One of the B players out of the count. There's still two more players towards B, however. Lucan creeps up mid, finds one in mid. That's Jaden going down. They have full control over towards the A site, and Chaos knows it. They're going to try to have Lucan now catch off these players on the rotation. A big molly in towards library will slow down Kylie Dan, but Kylie Dan runs through it. It's going to be trying to molly, trying to get the off shot off, but that's going to be Kylie Dan now down to 24 HP in the two on three retake, and we might just see a save from Perception unless Zygote finds a kill here or Kylie Dan spots something. Zygote has to be wary of this person down here and boiler finds that first kill now there's another player located here purple finds the first it's all up to kylie dan who finds the second lucan now playing this one all on his own so kylie dan gets swung lucan with a very big play will retrieve the off or nk whether or with not it's now going to be purple looking to get aggressive runs into a couple players up here the first kill going to go in favor of purple lucan now looking for one as well lucan will find it chaos is starting to gain so much momentum putting themselves in an early game five on three only one player left towards this a site and that's zygote zygote finds one but is traded from lucan immediately four versus two jaden and prism have rotated but wildflower is going to plant the bomb and now chaos can initiate these post plants positionings look at bajorns bajorns finds the both of them jaden and prism get double headshot of bajorns goes huge chaos now Wildflower looking for an opening towards mid. Nothing spotted quite yet, but a lot of pressure coming through from Perception down. Banana Purple finds the first. Jaden and Prism go for some trades. Kino finds one on to Jaden. It's three versus three here at this point in time. Prism gonna be sending down a Molly. Wildflower gonna find the kill. Stays alive at one HP. Wildflower, you are crazy for that. It's a three on two now. We're gonna see... Orange Moose rotate over to the B-bomb site. Play the defense there. The op of Wildflower picks off a player on rotation. Zygo goes down. Orange Moose, you have to 1v3. Or into a murder hole, rather. Oh, the rifle's picked up. Bajorns gets the information. Bajorns finds the kill, and Chaos will win the round. They will win the game 16-7, winning all eight rounds in a row on their T-side.